All right, welcome back to your second quarter action. Hey, I owe Veronica dinner. Hooks me up a, or did I owe you dinner? Don't owe you both. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, yeah. we got the roster, but or beverage. Or beverage. Yeah, there you go. Back to pass with Wicker near side. Rolls. Now he's bottled up. Try to get rid of the football. Fun. He does. They don't call him in the grasp. And uh, Wicker get lucky to get rid of that one and toss it incomplete to the near sideline. He brings up second down for the Spring Wolves as the Bremerton Knights had defensive pressure. Wicker had time to get rid of the football for a momentarily, and then all of a sudden, here comes the Bremerton Knights defense. Had to find somebody to do it to the near side and throw it high and incomplete. Second down and 10, 11.51 to go here in the second quarter. So, so for these, those at home now, um, you can quit cussing me out for getting the names wrong. We have the correct roster here set in front of us. We're probably going to think for that. Back, Wicker back to pass. He roll left, look left, underneath pressure. Nobody gets the football off, and he's buried back in the 40 yard line. Their defensively, Jacoby Serrano there, and a host of other Bremerton Knights. So we up third down now and long for the Squim Wolves. So, Lawrence Wicker goes, rolls out to the far side of the field. These Wolves are now going for a left to a right to start things off here in the second quarter. As he tried to get it to the second, out to the left side, well, good coverage downfield by the Rivers tonight. Said nobody get the football off and finally was sacked back at the 40 yard line. Or they, well, they rolled at the 36. Fair enough. Third down and 16. Richard back to pass. He'll look right on a one step drop. Hook it to the near side, caught at the 33. And then back there immediately by Devin Ryan Keel. At the 35-yard line, right there will be fourth down and short now for the Squim Wolves at the Bremerton Knights 32-yard line, and the Squim Wolves will indeed go for it with 10:42 to go here in the, the first, the second quarter. Now that we just entered the second quarter of action, and let's see what we get going on here. They gonna try a field goal. They gonna try a field goal. This could be a 39, 49, 56 yard field goal attempt. And the whistles will blow before they get the snap off. So it's about a 56 yard attempt. And well, though, I didn't. Well, they they gonna take the leg a penalty. Maybe give them some a, a few more extra yards to be able to to put the football away now. Of course, we saw what in the NFL a couple of days ago with 66 yard field goal by Tucker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with the for Baltimore, I do believe. And the, but the, the high school kid kicking one that far, that's almost impossible. Fourth down and 17. And now the Wolves will go for it. No, they're going to do a quick kick. I didn't think so. There's a high punt on the quick kick. Takes the Bremer, takes the Squim Wolves bounce, and it's finally down at the six yard line. And where the Bremer tonight will take over on offense. The Knights will get the football back with 10.02 to go here in the second quarter, leading at 14 and nothing, deep in their own territory. Knights scored early in the second quarter twice in the first quarter. 10.11 to go in the first quarter. Then in Jordan King, uh, uh, Jim Kinga. A 30-yard scamper, making it 14 to nothing. With 4:56 to go in the in this quarter, here's a handoff left side, busting and breaking tackles. Now stumbling ahead to about the 13-yard line is the ball carrier for the Bremerton Knights. Jaden Kinga was there running the football there defensively for the Squim Wolves. Was Aiden Cockrell, the 5'11". Junior defenseman for the Squim Wolves. King of the quarterback. Topenko the quarterback. Out of the shotgun. We'll send a man in motion to a handoff. Nope, he'll take on the uh, counter play. Almost caught in the back, backfield. Maybe a face mask on the play. And he's bottled up around the 12 yard line. And in the stop for the Squim Wolves was Ricky Jennings. Ricky Jennings, 
175 pounder. A freshman, a junior, excuse me. And maybe he caught something as he went in to go get the tackle. Went a little high. Maybe he caught the maybe caught the face mask. And it is a face mask on the squim wolves. So add the pillar arch to the end of the run. Marks football ahead to the 20, almost another ball, knows the ball maybe on the 29 yard line. Be first down and 10 for the Bremerton Knights near hash mark, going from our left to our right. 9.18 to go here in the second quarter. The rain has held off, dark skies up above, shotgun formation. High snap, Pinko will yank it out of the air and hand off left side. Gets out near the numbers and is clanging down at the 33 yard line. Get on the stop again for the Squim Wolves with Ricky Jennings at 510 Junior. Ball spot at the 33 yard line. Pick up maybe four yards on the play. Second down and six will call it for the Bremerton Knights. Wolves will dig in defensively. As the clock ticks away here in the second quarter. 8.42 now here in the second quarter. Topanko out of the shotgun, back to pass. Looks left, throws right, cut at the 38. Moves ahead to the 40 yard line. The pass caught by Junior Newman, his 6'1 senior wide receiver for the Bremerton Knights. Gets just enough for the first down. And be the Bremerton Knights first down as they move the chains. Ball in the far hash mark at the 40 yard line. First down and 10 for the Bremerton Knights. Squim Wolves had a good opportunity a couple times to get deep into Bremerton Knights territory, but just couldn't, couldn't do so. The hand off right up the middle. Squirms through and is tripped up at the 45, and a flag will fly in as well. So, see, it was the holding by the Bremerton Knights. Flag came in almost at the end of the play. And it is, we'll go against Napoleon against the Bremerton Knights. We'll march the football back. For the Bremerton Knights. Uh, Bremerton, uh, Paul Terrio, the head coach, he's probably going to talk to his squad at halftime uh, about the, the number of penalties they've had here in the first half. For Coach Paul Terrio, career wise, with the, for the Bremerton Knights. Starting all the way back to the 2016-17 season, his first year had a 500 squad, five and five overall, three and three in league play. Topango now taking out his, the play. Now works out a shotgun, high snap, pulls down. Down hand to the middle, first man through, breaking outside the numbers. And Jaden Kinga gets outside the 40, five yard line near the 40 yard line of the Squid Wolves. A nice run by Kinga. 23-yard run by Kinga, moves the chains for the Bremerton Knights. To be a Bremerton Knights first down. Right up the middle, then veered outside the numbers. And again, the Bremerton Knights, no huddle offense. 7.37 to go in, ticking here in the second quarter. Came back here and make a talk radio. He has the video of this football game on ISBNSports.com. Tomorrow, he has the audio tonight at ISBNSports.com. Here's a high snap again from Yank out of the air by Topanga. He hands off to Kinga. He smashes across the 40-yard line. Is met there at the 38 and finally dropped there. And again, Jennings on the stop for the Squim Wolves. The second down, we'll call it six for the Bremerton Knights. Long six. Knights like the love to run the football to the Bremerton Knights. Junior Aquino, their, their leading rusher with 367 yards this year. For the Bremerton Knights and the time out called by the Bremerton Knights. 
So we'll keep it right here, here on the Mega Talk Radio, the important heart, KITZ. I'd like to recognize those in Olympia on KGTK 920. AM down there, listening to radio in Olympia and Lacey, and in our in a booming voice uh, on Q105.7 in Tumwater. This broadcast presented by a tiny mushroom sign shop. Signs, banners, vehicle signage, vinyls, decals, business cards, and more. It's Tiny Mushroom Sign Shop, 604 North Calo and Bremerton. And brought to you in part by PC Parts and Service. Bremerton, get back to your world of PC Parts and Service for computer repair, parts, and accessories. This PC Parts and Service, 1210 Civil Way in Bremerton. There's a Kira, Los Casadores, dining or takeout for the best authentic mix.